I am very thankful to be alive and uh, to be lucky enough and fortunate enough to get a heart from another person to keep me going all these years. I felt so bad I couldn't get out of my own way. Yeah. And uh, so I went to a little MD right there in Moss Bluff out of Country Doctor. Country doctor. And uh, I, I sat down and explained to him how I got to where I was. And he says, well, it sounds like you've opened a textbook and described a bad heart. They checked everything. And the last thing that they did was the cardiologist. And uh, I'll never forget, his name was Dr. Rain. Uh, he, he called my husband and me into the office. He said, well, we're through with all the tests. You know, we, we feel like we know what's wrong. And in time, uh, your heart's quite damaged. In time, you will need a heart transplant. Well, at that time, that was in 87. We didn't, heart transplant, what are you talking about? People, you know, people didn't, didn't, that wasn't a thing in 87. I finally got a hold of me that day. They'd been calling me all day. And, um, I said, well, you know, I wasn't feeling that bad that day. And I told him, I said, if somebody else needs it, you know, worse than me, I'm, I'm okay for a little while. He says, uh-uh, we put the numbers in and it was a perfect match and there wasn't anybody else. He said, that's your heart. Something was wrong than that. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I kind of, and, and I, it had to be something to, to do with the good Lord because I wouldn't have thought that I would be that positive. But I felt like I was going to be around for a while.